Janos. I am a co-founder of uh, QS Lasers and CEO at this moment. Yeah, really would like to thank for this great event. Yeah, really impressed uh, with the quality of it. And yeah, so we do compact uh, mini diode pump solid state lasers. Uh, one of our uh, the QS lasers is a startup uh, from other company Optonas. We do coatings in house. Uh, next month we will be doing as well CNC machining, so mainly all laser would be done in-house uh, in our group companies. So we are looking to uh, de uh, developing uh, uh, lasers with our customers uh, for scientific and industrial applications. All our products were made uh, on demand in the market, just uh, uh, for request from our customers. Now uh, we are working very hard uh, to go on serious production. We plan to make about 500 lasers this year and to hope to scale up up to 1,000 lasers uh, in shortest time near future. We have accumulated about uh, 35 years uh, in laser development. As well, uh, today one of our uh, new projects is uh, with advanced short uh, pulse generation technology that uh, we did not find anything like that uh, in the market at this moment. Uh, today we have a team of 14 professional uh, persons and the company is quite young, it's uh, only four years old. Yeah. So like I said earlier, we mainly uh, build uh, the first laser on request. Uh, we do what uh, uh, our customer needs today. So it can be a passively Q-switch laser, uh, actively Q-switch laser. Also today we do like small sized uh, air-cooled, uh, passive air-cooled lasers. Uh, so uh, our uh, pulse uh, window, what we do in series today is from 250 picosecond to 2.5 nanosecond. And uh, we uh, have on the laboratory table made uh, 50 picosecond and 20 picosecond lasers, but uh, we are now developing for serious production of those lasers. Uh, so uh, our 250 picosecond laser uh, has uh, more than two billijoules uh, output per pulse. Uh, also repetition rate, uh, today we are working with uh, 1,000 hertz, and in kilohertz we are going tomorrow. Yeah. We, so yeah, we, we do lasers on your demand. So this is the photo of our several produced lasers. So uh, it's for OOM, uh, actively used to wish laser, and another laser for medical application, uh, 671 nanometer. So our field of expertise, so mainly today we do uh, lasers based on neodymium dot uh, optics. Uh, also uh, short uh, pulse generation, what we are looking is uh, sub -nan nanosecond, sub nanosecond and picosecond lasers. Femtosecond we did not manage to make uh, today, uh, still did not manage to make. So as well, uh, harmonic generation for scientific, it mainly goes for scientific applications. Here we can see also example the laser we have produced with uh, four outputs in one. Yeah, uh, as well, we are very open to make uh, custom laser systems for your specific applications. And as well, we try, uh, after development, go to a serious production of those lasers. So there is uh, several examples of our products, uh, what we do in series today. So uh, it's, uh, as well, we can do harmonic, uh, we generate harmonic from that. Uh, it's uh, 300, 500 picosecond. Uh, one uh, of our, as well, uh, newer lasers is here. That is uh, 671 second harmonic generation from this laser would be 671 nanometer. And the main wavelength is 1,342 nanometers. Uh, 
so as well, uh, we, we can see uh, actively Q-switch laser is a little bit bigger. Here we can see passively Q-switch laser, and this laser was made everything in one house, uh, in one housing. So we just connect uh, 12, 12 volts uh, power input, uh, press the button, and, and it shoots right away. Yeah, so uh, our recent developments, Angus and Agrius lasers, so Agrius is uh, 880 nanometer laser. It's uh, sub-nanosecond and even half of nanosecond with uh, active Q-switch. So repetition rate is up to 10 kilohertz already. Uh, or ultra compact uh, casing as well. We make second harmonics from it. Uh, and we get then micro, micro joules pulse from this, uh, from this uh, laser today. And also, uh, and it's based uh, uh, on true neodymium uh, uh, dopped uh, uh, crystals. As well, uh, here we have, uh, we can see uh, our re revolutionary product. It's picosecond mini laser without any sesams or even without any compression of the pulse. So it just gives uh, from itself uh, from 50 picosecond to 20 picosecond without any compression. And we get uh, at least one microjoule per pulse uh, and uh, that's uh, what we have in market is nanojoule uh, energy output for, 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 for the laser like this. And after the first amplification, we, we can even have uh, more than 100 microjoules. Yeah. Um, also repetition rate up to 10 kilohertz. Yeah, so thank you for your attention. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Gintas. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, just short question. Very short, huh? <laughs> You're, you are the second Lithuanian manufacturer of picosecond lasers that doesn't use CSAM technology. We also heard from Litilit this morning that they don't use it. I think of this as a very successful technology for generating pulses. What's the matter? Why don't you, want, why don't you like it? Why does it advantage not to have it in your laser? So uh, the CSAM, it's uh, uh, sensible for high power out output. And we think that uh, it uh, would have better stability, better, more robust, uh, without uh, that uh, part. So how do you do it? Uh, so that is uh, to our CTO. I can share his contacts to you uh, or your contacts to him. Yeah. So he, he, he is uh, on this technology expert. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gintas. Thank you very much.